Okie pokey, we are finally finished mining everything there is to mine within the hourglass nebula, I believe it was called. And trust me, it took quite a long time, but we got a whole bunch of minerals and stuff in the process, in which I promptly went and spent and upgraded Shepard weapons and upgraded the squad as much as I could, because it suddenly occurred to me that it's no wonder why Shepard's been having his butt kicked recently, because I haven't actually upgraded him once since this game started, so hopefully he should pack a hell of a more of a punch than he already has. Okie dokie, well for this mission, even though I used her in that side mission she wasn't really useful, so I want to use Jack because I've been wanting to use her for a long long time now and I don't count that side mission with the mechs because her and Zaid weren't really that effective against it. And who shall I bring up with me into the into this mission? Not Grunt, not Garrus, and not Tally, we've used them far too much. Miranda I think would be quite hilarious because Jack and Miranda hate each other, could be quite good. Tempted to actually bring Zaid. Hmm. Do you know what? Yeah. I think Jack and Zaid, I didn't give him a good enough run through last time when we were on that side mission. I think Jack and Zaid are the way to go with this one. Yes, there we go. They're the four points I wanted for Shepherds. So let's put that in charge. Max that all the way out. And basically, you've got two choices you've got heavy charge or area charge. Area means that when you hit your um, opponent when you do the the charge, it hits a wider area, whereas heavier just does more damage on that one person. And to be honest, more damage on that one person is what I want. And also, sh shield strength with area, it only brings your shields up to 75%. However, if you have absolutely no shields and you do your vanguard charge, it boosts your shields right up to 100%. So if you feel like you're about to die, just do your vanguard charge at someone and that's it. You've got a full set of shields again. You wouldn't think diving directly into the enemy would actually gain you more health, but it does. Uh, two points. Hmm. I think for Jack, I'm probably going to save these two points until they're four points. Fully upgrade Shockwave before I do Paul, because with Jack, I use Shockwave a lot more than Paul. And the same with Zaid and Concussive Shock. But Also, as I said before, I've upgraded a lot of the guns and stuff now, which I hadn't upgraded any guns at all throughout this entire game, so it's no wonder why it was taking so long to kill enemies. But I have bought the Avalanche, and I've also bought the Missile Launcher. Both good within their own right, but to be honest, I'm quite a fan of the Particle Rifle. So until I get another gun, which we uh, unlock on Zaid's loyalty mission, I'm sticking with the Particle Beam. And Jack, Viscerator Hand Cannon, and the Mantis and Vindicator. Oh, that was quick. I was expecting some <laughs> loading screen. Ah. <sighs> Hello. We can uh, ignore the big, long, boring speech of you this time. This is a recall notice. All users of Coros brand medical radiation systems are asked to discontinue treatment immediately. Please return your system to an authorized dealer for a refund or for credit toward the excitement. Okay, I'm bored of hearing that person now. Feels like we have been here on Ilium for quite some time now. Twenty-five. But then I suppose that's what happens when you have that awesome piece of DLC with Liara. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. This place is one bad day away from becoming Omega. <laughs> exactly. My thoughts exactly. I love how my crew all think the same as me. Makes us a good team. It makes us a good team, damn it. Uh, yeah, we already went back in there and we sorted out everything inside the bar, didn't we? We don't really need to go there until we're doing Miranda's loyalty mission. Everything's done with Liara. Alright, let's make our way to the taxi pool. But yeah, as I was saying before, I, since we started this, other than one Krogan Viality and the, the upgrades that you get for the Normandy by speaking to squad mates, I haven't actually... Yes, yes, I've already spoke to you, Salerian. I haven't upgraded Shepard or the squad or the weapons at all. So hopefully now we shouldn't receive so much damage. Our weapons should pack a hell of a more of a punch. But anyway, Sir... Serena? I think that's how you say it. I think you spelt it a bit weird. 
You're the person we need to speak to about recruiting our, sa our assassin, Thane Krios. Serena? Who wants to know? Name's Shepard. Liara Tassoni said you might have information on Thane Krios. Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? Maybe you could help me find him? <laughs> I can tell you, but you won't stop him. When he contacted me, I checked up on him. The man never gives up on a job. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. Ah, oh, Nasana Dantius, I remember her. Back in Mass Effect 1, she hired us to uh, take out her sister, only to turn out she was a bit crooked herself. I'm not surprised this is where she's ended up. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check and her enemies dead. Again, just another reason why you should do side missions in Mass Effect 1. Because if you hadn't, the son of Dantius would just be another face in the crowd right now. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. It doesn't sound like Nasana's just gonna let me in. She's as smart as she is paranoid. No one's getting in or out of there without a fight. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Oh, I am definitely ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Nasana, I don't care why he does it. Fair enough. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. Sounds like a plan, Serena. Looks like Nasana Dantius has made a few enemies since we've last met her on the Citadel. Well, with the attitude she gave us, I'm not really surprised that this has come back to bite her on the butt. It seems like she's got half of Ilium after her. Yep, and I'm happy with my squad for now. Jack and Zaid, I think they're going to put in some good work for this mission. Well, unless they've leveled up in the last five minutes, I doubt we've got anything to do here. The towers are heavily guarded and you'll find more resistance closer to the penthouse. So, this assassin, you planning to stop him? I'm just here to make sure he survives. Hmm. There they are, the Dantius Towers. You'll have to get up to the second tower and cross the bridge to the penthouse. Her mercs will fight you every step, but it's your best chance. Why don't we just save time and take the shuttle up? She's got mercs with rockets just waiting for you to try. You get maybe halfway up before they shot you down. Besides, your assassin won't go in that way. Best to go in low. Any last minute tips about the towers? The Eclipse Mercs will be well fortified by now, and they won't want to disappoint Nasana. 
There's no automated defenses or traps. Just focus on anything moving. All right. Let's do this. Hold on. <laughs> Good luck, Shepard. Well, 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 a giant tower, a mad person killing off. Oh, I'm saying that. How about you get cut? Let's deal with these first. How about you sit off a shockwave there? Hey, how about I join you? Alright, Zaid, give me a hand. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on with that guy? <laughs> Whoa, what, we walk within Willy Wonka's factory here or something? <laughs> what is going on? I see a, a Oompa Loompa and I'm out of here. But anyway, yeah, we're about to storm a gigantic financial looking kind of tower. Loads of mercs inside, killer, killing innocent people. Shepard has walked right into a scene of Die Hard. You know, minus the aliens and heavy mechs and all that, but... <laughs> oh, man. What can I say? I'm, I'm a fan of the film... Wherever I go, I just I just see Die Hard. Anyway, a shotgun, assault rifle, yep. Good, good, good. Yeah, but another good thing I did about upgrading, as I said, I don't know why I did it sooner. I think I was trying to save all my minerals and stuff like that for the upgrades on the Normandy, because in all fairness, the upgrades on the Normandy, and I, I know the code's over there, but I didn't want to get trapped. I know the upgrades for the Normandy are far, far more important than the upgrades you can get on your own character. So I wanted to get them first, but then it totally, it totally didn't occur to me to actually upgrade my character once I'd got the majority of them. So as you notice, I've got more room for Medi-Gel now. My weapons do a hell of a lot more damage, including my squad mates. And my shields are better, my health's better, Shepard is generally just better. So this mission should go off without a glitch. Still ticking. I can't feel my legs. My chest is killing me. Who did this to you? And why? We're just night workers. Nasana sent them after us. She sent the mechs to round us up, but we didn't hear. They just started shooting. They just attacked you? Yes. They were too slow. It was horrible. Everyone screaming. The mechs said there was no time. Nasana wanted us out of the way. Immediately. Then... <coughs> the dogs... <coughs> Here. That should ease the pain and keep you alive until help arrives. He doesn't know where the assassin is. Take your time. I think I'm better. Find the other workers. Help them. I have only put Medigel on it. I'd sit down if I was you or at least crawl out. I need to get up to the penthouse. Any suggestions? Take the service elevator to the upper floors. The bridge between the towers isn't finished, but if you're careful, watch out for the mercs. They're everywhere. Any idea how many mercs the sun has got? A lot. Dozens of them are wandering around here all day. You'll find more the further up you go. Why would Nasana kill her own workers? To her, we're expendable. But I didn't realize she was that ruthless. My friends, co-workers, slaughtered. They were jumping off ledges to escape the dogs. I'll do what I can. Thank you. Let's get moving. <laughs> Looks like Nasana's, uh, Nasana's gone a little bit more dipped her toe into the evil pool. A little bit more than we thought she had in Mass Effect 1. Maybe we should have put her down when we had the chance. 
Whoa, we've got company. <coughs> All right, how about you hit a nice shockwave down there. Zaid hit the person on the flank, and I'm going to stick a, a shockwave on this Eclipse Trooper. Actually, no, throw a pool on it. Look at this one on the floor just sitting there. Tell you what, thinking about it, if we're going to be going up a mechs again all this time, it might be a good idea if Saeed to uh, put on that disruptor ammo of his. <laughs> and there was me saying I'm never going to use disruptor ammo, and then the... the oh, that was the one that was floating. <laughs> and there's us all this time now, going up against mechs. Not that I'm complaining. Jack, we are going to get a double shockwave going on. This is going to be epic. Ready? Teamwork, Jack. Teamwork. Ha! <laughs> I was quicker. Shepard wins every time, Jack. Boom! Oh, that person just got incinerated. Or disintegrated, or whatever you want to call it. Oh. There we go. I thought he wasn't going to equip it for some reason. Wow, I actually I can't believe I've played this game about three times now and I've only just found out that, that you can use pull on uh, items like explosive barrels and stuff like that. So if there's an enemy that you want to hit an explosive barrel on, whoa, and they're standing just a bit too far away. Oh, Jack, please tell me you're going to knock all these guys down. You can bring the barrel closer to you and then blow them up that way. Thank you, Jack. And Zaid, if you'd like to do the honours. Your health belongs to me, Eclipse Trooper. Can't get a lock. I can get a lock on this guy, though. Is that everyone down? <laughs> oh no, there is more where that come from. Jack, double whammy again. <laughs> that seemed to do the job. Give me your health, Eclipse Trooper. Jack, do the honors again. Well, Zai can shoot through walls. <laughs> Who knew? Hmm. I think it's time we get a little bit up close and personal. Oh, not the target I was aiming for, but little do. Careful. System failing. Power. Barrier up. Oh, your barrier up will not save you now, my friend. Oh, oh, I think that used to be inside you. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Shepard wins every time. It's about... I think a memo should just go out to the universe. I mean, unless you're a, a geth like Prime with a, uh, a flamethrower, then you, you might win. <laughs> if her uh, past experience is to tell us anything. All right, let's have a little looky loo around here. What have we got? Yep, I thought I saw something flash up. Hey, I think he went in here. We'll go get him. You go. Get your ass in there, and the Santa's not paying you to stand around. Fine. But I... Oh, damn! <laughs> Where did he come from? And then he was gone. Wow, fame really is good. <laughs> Make a body disappear as quick as it appeared. Disappear as quick as it appeared. I can't remember what I just said. Oh, Jack, shockwave over there, and Zaid, I see you in the back. Oh, I think that was a combination of my shotgun and a 
Jack's shockwave, but man, that was that guy just got plowed into that wall. Boom! Uh oh. Whoa, Jack! I'm really gonna need some help. Same here, Zaid. Sorted. Hang on one momento, guys. I believe we have got loot around here. Or at least ammo. You guys distract them, I'm flanking. Oh, oh, who who ruined my fun? Jack, damn it. <laughs> I was about to go punch that mech in the face. It was going to be hilarious. It's the little things you've got to enjoy, Jack, and you're ruining it for me. Jack, hit a shockwave over there for me. Thank you very much. Don't sell yourself j short, Jack. That was very helpful. All right, moving in. Right. Another shockwave for me. Jack can... That's it. Oh. These guys, they're just doing what I say before I can even command them to do it. <laughs> so many bullets. Go on, Zaid. There we go, good boy. Man, these two really were the, the right two to bring for this mission. Look, you are not giving me a chance to loot, and I do not like that. And Zaid. Oh, you're still alive, are you? <laughs> Team, feel free to finish that one off if you like. Alright, fine. If you guys really want to hang around. Whoa, I better get some cover. As I said, life would have probably been this easy for us if I just upgraded Shepard earlier on instead of leaving it as late as I did. See, these guys didn't stand a chance. This is how it should have been. Can't believe I forgot to upgrade Shepard. That's how <laughs> foolish of me. Putting in all that work mining stuff, and I didn't even reap the benefits for it. Oh, I thought there might be uh, something back here. Looks like this was just... Oh, it's just another way of flanking round. Oh, well. On it. Good to know, good to know. Alright, there's the elevator door, but I do know there is something else we can grab while we're around here. Bypass door, yep, we'll come back for that because I see a sniper rifle down here. The M97A sniper rifle. Zaid and Garrus, you are welcome. Oh, we've got a white strip going diagonally, all green going diagonally. Ba -ba Boom! And blue in the middle with orange. Oh, thank you very much. Saeed, you look like you'd do a good Elvis impression. Go on, give, give us the old Jimmy legs, go on. Little bridge, CC. And there we go. Kill us. We'll go. We'll go. Hey, look. They're not Eclipse. You're here to help us, right? It's one reason I'm here. Come on out. It's safe enough. Thank you. We are in your debt. Maybe you can help me. I'm looking for someone, not a merc. He's on his own. Well, whoever sealed us in here, 
When he found us, I thought we were dead, but he just closed the door and locked us in. Sounds like our assassin's going soft. Assassin? Here for Nasana, I bet. She's got it coming. You treat people like this, it always comes back to bite you in the ass. Yeah, it seems like you guys know a little bit. How about you tell us a little bit about Nasana? Nasana's not exactly your favorite person. She's a hard woman to work for. That's an understatement. She works as long hours, no overtime, and this is what you get in payment. She's unpleasant, to say the least. <laughs> Whiners. No, she's slaughtering them. I think they may actually be onto something. Why not just quit? We would if we could. What's stopping you? Our contract. We're stuck until the job's done. Quitting for any reason can be hazardous to your health. We hear that anyone who leaves early tends to disappear. Probably just a rumor. But who wants to find out for sure? Yeah, she's slaughtering all of you for no reason, but, you know, angering her by quitting. Yeah, that's just a rumor that you get killed for that. <laughs> I need to get to Nasana's penthouse. What's the quickest way? Cargo elevator is the only way up right now. They're still working up top. Watch your step. Some of the walls aren't in, and it's a long way down. Cold, too. I hate working up there. It, the long way down bit worries me a little bit more f before the cold. Did you see the one who locked you in? Do you know where he might have gone? He's no Solarian, I can tell you that. But I've no idea where he went. Sorry. If he's after Nasana, he'll be heading to the upper levels. Oh, the cargo elevator it is. How many workers were in the tower? Are there many more of you? Not alive. We were lucky. Well, some got out before the dogs were sent in. Maybe a few are hiding somewhere. I wouldn't stay here too long. It should be safe down on the lower floors. I was just thinking the same thing. Let's go, everybody! Thank you. And tell your assassin to aim for her head. Because she doesn't have a heart. Get moving! Oh, Daroth with the burn. <laughs> it doesn't matter where you kill her now. That that jib, Daroth. Oh, you've cut her. You've cut her in two. You have. But anyway, it looks like it's the uh, the cargo elevator. That's the way we gotta go. Just stand here and wait for them. I like the straight fight, but you're right, Jack. This isn't the best place to wait. Just tell me where to point my gun. Welcome to the party, pals! Right, what have we got? Clip shields. Wow, they've all got shields, so the biotic abilities are out of the way. But a combat drone and possibly... Yeah, a shockwave wouldn't go amiss. Let's get that Krogan shields out of the way. And probably the... Uh, this would be the best way to do it. Get a reeve on it so it can no longer regenerate. Take that son of a down. Oh, Jack, what happened to you? Right, you guys deal with that one for me. I'll deal with this one. <laughs> a shepherd elbow. That's the way you finish these things. Hey, guys, good. Jack, what happened? I thought you were supposed to be a crazy biotic. What? <laughs> And you get taken out by two mercs, two combat drones, and a Krogan. I took on the Krogan by myself. 